I'm tired, but I'm pushing through it. Sean, there is something I'm sure you've gone against the coach and different people have talked about his progression since last year. Wait, where have you seen him get better and just how tough of a matchup is he? Uh, I'd definitely say his speed. And I think every aspect, really, as a receiver, blocking, running routes, and just knowing the plays, I think he's being you know, a complete receiver. How do you feel about your role going into this, this season? It seems like you've kind of established yourself at star and uh, really, I think it's just, you know, doing whatever Coach Saban tells me to do at this point, you know, learning all the positions in the secondary. That's my biggest goal for this year. And right now, I'm on a good track to do that. So wherever he needs me on the field, you know, I'm ready to do it. He said, so, you're, he said you're one of those guys who maybe thought a little bit more than you were reacting. How, how have you been able to get over that? Uh, really, I've started to, you know, just tell myself to forget the last play. You know, I used to put so much pressure on myself, and I have, you know, a high spe expectations on, for myself in each play. But, you know, talking with some people like my coaches and Coach Tucker, he's just kind of let me know that, you know, you can't go to the next play thinking about the last one. You kind of got to let it go. You had a couple big plays in the uh, heyday. Yeah. What, what was that experience like? Uh, it was... It was great, you know, just having that opportunity to be out there with the one defense and, you know, the last two years just sitting out and being patient and watching the older guys, you know, and learning from them, it's kind of been a good experience and now I feel like it's paying off. I hate to ask you about a freshman, but Nick singled him out and mm -hmm. Mika. You know, what's, what's he like and has he impressed the veterans so far? Oh, yeah. He definitely come on strong. He's learning the plays a lot faster than I think we have as freshmen in my class, and you know he's making a lot of plays, and he's just standing out. How many different positions is he playing? Uh, right now, I think he might be playing about two. What do you think it is? Uh, can you pinpoint something that maybe you seem like, wow, this guy has this or whatever? His work ethic. I think it's his work ethic, and also he just, you know, he doesn't really, you don't, he doesn't show emotion. You know, if he gets beat, he really doesn't care about it, you know, it's not that he doesn't care about it, he just doesn't put too much pressure on himself about it, he moved to the next play. You mentioned out there, so are there any other receivers, you, the receiving core is fairly new as a whole, anybody else impressed you in camp so far? All of them, honestly, I mean, it, you know, one of them does good, one practice, and that, you know, makes a different opportunity for the next guy to step <coughs> in, and every day somebody else is standing out, so it's kind of hard to single somebody out. How about, how about a new guy, Richard Wayne? He's a new guy to receive. What have you seen from him so far? Oh, he's great. You know, good hands, uh, good speed, he's good blocker. He gets, you know, to the ball even when he not getting the ball. You know, he likes to block. So I think he's going to be a good receiver for us. Talk about uh, the run pass option kind of plays. What are you? What are your keys? What are you looking at when you see a team that, that could have a play where it could go either way? Uh, really, Coach Saban teaches us to look look through a triangle. We first start with when the outside lineman. We look to the uh, center and then to the quarterback. And really, even outside of that, we like to read the um, the lineman with no one in front of them. So anyone, in, anyone in particular is kind of emerging as a leader of the secondary? Uh, it's kind of tough to say. I think a lot of the older guys, and all of them, are just stepping up as leaders and taking the younger guys under their wings. And I, me, myself, uh, also, you know, I just feel like we're helping the younger guys learn the plays and then also see how, you know, the defense needs to be run. Is Cyrus one of those guys? Oh, yeah, definitely. And that run pass option, how, what makes it difficult for you as a defender, as a, you know, a defensive back to cover that kind of stuff? Uh, it's really read and react. You know, you have to keep your eyes in the right place because if you get your eyes caught in the backfield looking at the quarterback action and, you know, watching them do the read zone, Q power, or whatever it is, you know, you got to keep your eyes in the right place at all times. I know it's probably limited, but today, what was it like seeing Cam Sims out there just a few months removed from surgery? Oh, it was awesome. You know, I didn't think he was going to come back that fast. And then to see how he's progressed over from the spring to now, I mean, it's, it's amazing almost. A little bit about your progress. You know, where do you think you've come the farthest, and, and where did you have the farthest to, to go? Well, I like I said, since freshman year, I've grown a lot from you know getting beat and not knowing the plays as well. Now, you know, learning different positions, I'm seeing how it all comes together. You know, regular nickel dime and things like that. And I think you know, like I said earlier, just 
my um, you know, being able to put the last play behind me and look forward. In your opinion, what does it say about Nick that he's kind of putting you in position to play every position in the second year? Uh, I think I, it's an honor, and you know, it really feels good that he has, you know, great. He puts great responsibility on me, and he has that much faith in me to learn the defense and to also, you know, uh, contribute to the defense. If a professor Last question. Did, uh, what position do you play? What would you say? <laughs> Our defensive back for Nick Saban. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Maria.